There are my boys taking their walk. One of them's gonna poop. Uh oh, I was spotted. Oh, oh Pico, what? Why? Did, as soon as I turn the camera on, you stop. Are you kidding me? Did you go poop? Did you go poop? What's the report? Status report? Did he poo? Uh, mission successful. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> all right, buddy, and now it's time for a bath, which I know is your all-time favorite thing. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> bath time for Pico. I'm not, buddy. He loves it. He's oh. transforming into a full polar bear right now. Yeah. Pico! Two minutes ago you wouldn't even get in the shower and now you're like loving it. He, he always plays the game though. He acts like he doesn't want to. But then as soon as he's in here, he's like, yeah. Oh, this is the best part. The best you're part. Right towel time? Towel time. Towel time. Oh. Let's right go, B. My mirrors. Oh, wow. <laughs> so actually, he doesn't have as many zoomies as he normally does, but I'm glad because we got a gigantic beanbag surprise, and I really don't want him to jump on that and rip it, so hoping that he stays relatively calm. Are all your zoomies gone? You got all the zoomies out? You just tired now? He's a good boy. So it's been a while since we've seen you guys in the house. I got a couple fun things to show you. We've been making all kinds of little improvements around here. We totally redid Justin's bathroom, which is awesome because it was a pink that, I mean, I don't dislike pink, but it just didn't really match the room that well. So we repainted it. I'm trying to show you in the natural light, but it's kind of hard. So I painted in here, finished this bathroom just a couple days ago. It looks so good. Got some new rugs. New shower curtain. I just think it looks so good in here now. Finally got this done. It's like, how long have I lived here? And I just now finally finished. He had like these horrible swatches all down the side of the wall for the entire time we've been living in the house. Cause it took me forever to decide on a color, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So another cool little high tech home improvement that I just made was I installed a Samsung Smart Things home monitoring kit. They were kind enough to send me one and I am so excited about it actually, guys. This is one of those things where like I want to share this with you because it's something that I am super stoked about and that I'm gonna use all the time. So I feel like it's something that, you know, I feel like maybe you guys could benefit from too. So this home monitoring kit comes with a little hub that you plug into your router and obviously it has AC power. And then they give you all these cool little goodies with it too. It comes with an outlet and it comes with two of these little multi-purpose sensors that you can put on like windows, cabinets, doors, anything. And it also comes with a little motion sensor. And they were also kind enough to send me actually a separate camera that doesn't come with a kit, but that one is really cool. I'm gonna show you how all this works in a second. So the kit goes for like $249. You can get it at smartthings.com. You can get it from Best Buy, from Amazon, from Home Depot. There are a bunch of different places you can pick one out. So I'm just gonna show you uh, some of what I have set up in my house. So there is one of my multi-purpose sensors. I wanted them on my, basically my entry doors to my house. So I have one there and actually I have the motion sensor sitting right up there and then over here on my front door I have set up the other multi-purpose sensor right here so when I'm in the app I can see like everything is okay and I can arm it so it will notify me immediately if one of my motion sensors picks something up or if anything is changing in the house and if I go into my home I can actually see the different rooms and then in the bedroom I have my outlet which is really cool to check this out I push it it turns the lights on in my room how crazy is that? I was freaking out over this last night. And I can access my camera, which I have set up on top of my bookcases. Look, there I am, I'm standing in the corner. Can you see me? I'm jumping. That's awesome. I just think this is so cool because you can monitor and control stuff in your house and it's a lot less expensive than like a normal security system. It literally tells you on your phone immediately when something is happening, which is just so nice. I mean, there is nothing more important to me than that peace of mind when I'm traveling that I can monitor what's going on in my house. I can see what's going on in my house. I can hear what's going on in my house. It's just so amazing. And I'm so happy that I have this now. You can pair this with like hundreds of different things with cameras, door locks. You can even check to see if your garage is open and close it if you left it open. There are just like limitless possibilities with this. It's so cool. And if you're like a total tech nerd like me, you can go super crazy with it and you can program different things in your house to happen at different times in the day. Like for example, if you want your coffee maker to turn on or your lights to turn on when you wake up, you can actually like push the little button that says good morning and it will just do everything that you've programmed it to do in any different room in your house. So yeah guys, if this is something that you would be interested in, if you're like me and you worry when you travel or you just like to keep an eye on things or really anything that you could imagine wanting to do from your phone in your 
your house, this is definitely something that you should check out. So Samsung is offering to throw in something special for you guys if you order the home monitoring kit by clicking the link below. I will put it in my description if you're interested in this. And I wanted to say thank you again to Samsung for sending me the SmartThings home monitoring kit. It's really, really cool and it's gonna get a lot of use in this house. I'm gonna have legit like minority report, like fully automated high tech home. <laughs> and I'm gonna be able to see what this butthead is doing when I'm away. Hey, Chico, no parties when I'm not home, okay? I'm gonna be watching you. <laughs> so we missed out on our chance to go to $6 movie night, but we have been looking forward to seeing The Revenant, and yes. I've heard that it is a little bit intense, so I wanted to ask you guys if any of you have seen it, what your thoughts are on the movie. I don't know, we were just talking the other day about how many great movies came out in 2015, like Mad Max was incredible, I love Bridge of Spies, obviously Star Wars. I just feel like there were so many good movies in 2015, like more good movies than I can remember in quite a few years. Yeah. So I'm wondering, how 2016 awesome. is gonna go. Wondering if they're gonna, you know, keep that up this year. I hope so. I <laughs> In the hope world so. of movies. Keep the good movies coming. So I am cleaning up the house because Chase's friend Dan is coming to visit us from the East Coast, and this is what Chase is doing to help me. <laughs> what are you doing to my bean bag here? Are you what? Me? I'm putting it to good use. That's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> this is exactly how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Alright, so I was just going through my email and I almost completely forgot to tell you guys that I got Chico's DNA test results back. It's so funny because I texted one of my friends about it and she was like, oh my god, this is so exciting. This is like finding out if you're going to have a boy or a girl. <laughs> it's totally true. I've like sent these results to all of my close friends. I'm like, oh my god, look what my dog is. I'm a little bit of a crazy dog mom. That's okay. So let me find them and I will show you what he is. Now bear in mind that these are very long, broad mixes. Like when you read the results, you're gonna be a little bit shocked probably, as was I. But once you kind of think about it, you start to realize, okay, it doesn't mean that he's like a direct freaking descendant of this. It just means that, you know, he's got it in his blood. So here's the list of what Chico is. He's American Staffordshire Terrier, Chinese Sharpe, Chow Chow, Labrador, Maltese mix. So this is what the chart looks like. And you can see like over here, there's a mix of Sharpe and Maltese. So it's not like his parent was a purebred Maltese. It just means that somewhere in his bloodline, he's got Maltese. But this actually makes a ton of sense to me, the Staffordshire Terrier, which I'm really, really glad that that came through because he was showing a lot of different kind of traits and behaviors that were really not totally unique to labs. So I really wondered what that other large dog mix was in there. And this is it. This is so cool. Look guys, it's Chico's family. I've said it before, I'll say it again, guys. You gotta get excited about the little things. I'm stoked about this. And it's actually really helpful because I feel like this will be good information to have for future training, uh, knowing what to expect in terms of health and all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm very glad that I did it. I'm really, really happy with the results. Chico, are you a multi? Maltese? Are you a Maltese? Sorry, it's really, really loud. We still got the uh, Destiny going strong. Who are you running? Your Titan? What? What? Who are you running? Your Titan or your Hunter? Who am I wearing? Who are you no. wearing today, <laughs> darling? All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We just had a pretty chill evening in tonight with, uh, you know, friends and fam. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for another video. Good night, guys.